Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, the one and only host and cruise, bringing you another exciting edition of boxing. Don't forget to hit and to like, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be appreciated. Stay tuned. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, host and cruise, and guys, I am here to talk about Subriel Matias calling out Liam Paro. Um, he's challenged Liam Paro to a rematch. And I was hoping Matias would call him out. This is what I was waiting for. This is one of the fights that I want Matias to fight. One, one for Matias. Besides a progress and a Teofimo, a Liam Paro rematch is what I want personally. Um, as a fan, I want Matias to take that thorn out of his back and avenge that loss to Liam Paro. Like he did against Petro Sanani and he was able to avenge the loss. He gave him a savage beating in the process. So if they would if you know, he called he, he recently called him out. I think it was yesterday that they, they sat him down, they interviewed him, they probably asked him who does he want after this fight, if all goes well. On on November 9th. The Amparo. I didn't see the interview, but I'm sure that's what they said. I just bumped into the post and I saw the caption that he called out Liam Paro. So, my thoughts and what I think happened until I see it later on is that he wants to avenge that loss. I, I, and I've said it before, one of the biggest wins of a pro boxer's career is avenging a loss. It's never easy to go in there against a guy that has beaten. So, you got something to prove in, the, in a fight like that. You got to prove that you're actually better than him. You can beat him. And psychologically, mentally, you can go in there and actually be the guy that beat you. You know, there's always some fear in that, right? So, Matias did this before. He did it with Petros and Nanya. Many thought that he could not beat Petros and he proved everyone wrong. And he stopped Petros. Now, Paro, um, he's the new IBF champion after beating Matias on June 15th in Manatee, Puerto Rico. Destroying um, plans and I and you know the expectations. This was supposed to be a homecoming party, and it was a disaster. Now, Liam Paro is a I'll say in terms of accomplishments and, and ranking, he's a better fighter than Petros. No, not taking anything away from Petros. Avenging the Petros loss was big for Matias. It was a very important thing to do. He got the thorn on his back. He was able to move forward, win a world title, the IBF title. Now, with Paro, like I said, and, and this is my opinion, I felt that Matias, the Matias that we were come to this, accustomed to see did not reach to Manatee in that ring with Paro. He gassed out after the sixth round. Matias does not get tired. There were no 85 punches per round. Paro was gassed. He was ready to quit after this in the sixth round. In the corner, the coach was just pleading, do not pull, do not throw in the towel, do not quit. And luckily, Matias was gassed coming into the seventh round. This 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 whole thing with Paro looking to quit happened all throughout the sixth round. It was after the sixth round, they set him down, and he was looking to quit. And Matias was not able to follow up. Luckily, on Paro's behalf and favor, and Matias was gassed. He was not able to follow up and continue what he did on the sixth round. Because if he had done that, man, Paro would not, would not have last. But anyway, it is what it is. No excuses. Matias makes no excuses. Like he said, the results were what they, what they were. Paro won. Matias' job is to go in there and avenge that loss and prove everyone they ate. I had a bad night. And... I can beat Paro. The thing is now, November 9th first against Roberto Ramirez El Rifle. And then let's see what happens. Matias is still ranked IBF number four. He's, he's ranked pretty high. So after the Hitchens and Paro fight, Matias can have a chance to fight the winner. That's if he still wants to continue the IBF route because he's now ranked 10 in the WBC. So that's a new route, a belt that he has not won. So, and I'm sure the rehydration clause, um, he may have, to, he may think about it too. Like, if it can be, because if he goes the WBC route, he, know, he has no, he, 
he has no need to worry about a rehydration clause. He can go in there strength full at full strength, no rehydration clause, and be stronger and more dangerous. Now, I hope he gets the Liam Power rematch. Eddie Hearn recently let go of Matias of his contract. Um, which was a bit of a shocker. I thought Eddie Hearn would have given him another chance. But hey, we no longer need you, Matias. We took your belt. Gotta go. And this is my opinion. I think they're trying to... They know a rematch eventually was going to come. And that's Eddie Hearn's way of saying... Of letting go... Of of running from the rematch. Protecting Paro at all costs by letting go Matias. And running away with the IBF title. You know, because Matias, like you said, he wants the rematch. And the rematch... Is a, has always been a possibility. And I'm sure Eddie knows that Matias is going to perform better in a rematch. So, and he, he still knows deep down that Matias is still a dangerous fighter and has a chance to beat Paro in a rematch. Like I said, I'm sure he's going to come in better. He's going to perform better. And they don't want that. They don't want to give Matias an opportunity to beat Paro because there's a chance that it can happen. Matias is still a beast. He's still dangerous. Um, and with Paro and Hitchens, if Hitchens wins this fight and takes the IBF title off of Paro, Hitchens is not going to fight Matias. He's already said it. Title or no title. He's not going to defend. And if they make Matias a mandatory to for the winner of that fight and Hitchens has the belt, Hitchens is going to likely drop it. But uh, that's what I just want to come out here and talk to you guys about that. Because Matias recently called out Paro. He did call him out. Um, all goes well November 9th. Then let's see. A lot of people are telling me that Paro is not going to, that Matias is not going to get the rematch, you know, um, ever. We'll see. Matias is ranked pretty high still. And I feel they can't run forever. Matias is ranked number four. Um... Matias wins November 9th, maybe wins the next fight, he had the chance. I say title or no title, if Hitchin was to beat Paro, I think Matias can find his way into a range of power some way, somehow. It needs to happen, I hope it happens. If it doesn't, man, Matias is going to have to live with that law for the rest of his life and career. Um, but, you know, situations like that, that happens, it is not the end, man. Matias can go the WBC route, fight other top contenders and world champions, and maybe Liam Paro, maybe that may, may may stick as that on that as that thorn on his back forever. But I pr I hope and pray that Matias is able to get this rematch with Liam Paro, and if he does, Paro's in for a rude awakening. Let me tell you something: Matias is not going to allow this guy to beat him twice. He proved everyone wrong in the rematch with Petro that he can get it done. I'm sure Matias is going to let his hands go more. He's going to be in better conditioning where he doesn't stop, where he doesn't get tired. Um, so, yeah. Just want to come out here and talk to you guys about that. Matias calls out and wants to Liam Power rematch. Let me know what you guys think about that. Who do you got winning if Matias and Power rematch? And and why? In the comments section. Miracle Boy Boxing and gentlemen, I am your host, Holson Crew. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. It is always a pleasure to talk to you guys about boxing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.